Hey, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. Today, I am super excited to bring you to a dealer only auction where I have exclusive access to buying cars at wholesale prices. I'm talking massive discounts, far below what the public pays. Why? Because I have a dealer's license. One of the best things I have ever done in my life is start my own car dealership. A few years ago, I made a video on how I started a car dealership at the age of 23 with no money, it went kind of viral, it did well, and a lot of people were interested and helped grow my YouTube channel. But that wasn't the best decision I've ever made. What was, was starting my own car dealership. It took a risk, it took a lot of guts, I was scared when I started, but I'm telling you right now, it was the best decision I've ever made. Why? Because buying cars at discount prices and selling them retail to the public for profit helps pay for my lifestyle. It pays for my family, it helped me pay off my home, it's great being a business owner. There are so many perks, and I'm gonna to explain to you today multiple things. Number one, if you ever wanted to start your own car dealership, how you can do it. Number two, maybe you don't want to start your own car dealership and you just maybe want to flip cars on the side. Or number three, maybe you want to flip cars as a licensed dealer. Maybe you want to work just by yourself and not have a boss and sell cars on the side as a licensed dealer and get access to dealer auctions like I do. Today's video is awesome because I'm going to explain those things to you in detail and I'm really excited for multiple reasons because I have something coming out this week that is going to walk you by the hand to show you everything I've done to get me to where I am today. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. So my whole life, I've been around cars. My grandfather was an auto mechanic. My father's an auto tech teacher. My brother does auto body. My great grandfather immigrated here and he owned multiple gas stations. So I am fortunate enough to have been growing up around cars, which helped me gain a lot of knowledge. The problem is, I don't really like working on cars. I don't have the patience for it. It takes a very specific person and it's just not me, which is okay. And it might be you and that's okay too, but it's not me. But I love cars and I love getting in cars. I love buying cars. I love selling cars. And I like that I always get to have a new car so I can buy one, drive it for a little while and then sell it and then usually make profit, which is actually how I started in this business. So when I was a kid, I'd buy kind of a beat up bicycle and I'd fix it up and then I'd ride it for a little while and then I'd either trade up or I'd sell it to somebody and then go buy a new one. Then I got older and I started doing it in middle school with like four wheelers and dirt bikes. And then I got to high school and I had a new car like every three to four months. What I would do is buy something that needed some work. I'd register it, I'd fix it, I'd clean it, I'd drive it and then I'd sell it and I'd make a profit. So I started with a 1969 Ford Mustang. My father actually helped me with that one. I sold it, I bought a Ford Probe. From there, I bought a 69 Firebird. I was 17 years old with a 69 Firebird. I sold that, I bought a motorcycle and another car. Then I got into college and I paid for college selling cars on the side. It was amazing. Now, when all my friends had no money, I had cash, it was incredible. Then I graduated college and felt like I needed to do what everyone else did and get a job in the real world, and I hated it. I worked 70 hours a week for somebody else. I had zero appreciation. I had a boss always micromanaging me. I hated it, and I still had no money. And I thought to myself, you know what? What I'm doing on the side is making as much money as my 70-hour job. Imagine if I spent this much time on myself. If I invested this much time in myself, how well I do. So I learned how to get my dealer's license and there were a lot of hoops to jump through. How to start your own car dealership. There wasn't Google back then. There wasn't YouTube videos to show you how to do this. I had to figure it all out. It was really, really difficult. And I started with car auctions and I went to the state to figure it out. There were so many hoops. I finally got my dealer's license. I went to a car auction and I learned. I learned from the School of Hard Knocks and I made a lot of mistakes. I mean, you can see how many cars are at the auction today. We have a Tesla over there, but right next to it's an old Lexus. Then we have a Triumph and a Jaguar. Then we have a WRX and a newer truck. I mean, there's a little bit of everything for everyone. So it doesn't matter what your niche is, everything is here. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I buy a little bit of everything, but you start to focus on what you're good at. So I made a lot of mistakes and it cost me a lot of money from learning from my mistakes. Here's the good thing. I made this channel to teach you from my mistakes, so you can learn from my mistakes. Now let's talk about getting your dealer's license. If you ever just wanted to get your dealer's license because you can't get access to the auction without a dealer's license. So there are requirements to get your dealer's license. You first need a location, you need certain insurance and bonds, and you need a business registration, you need a tax ID. There's a lot of hoops to jump through to get you there. Then there's an inspection where everything has to get inspected, and there's a wait period, and then you have to learn how the auction works, which is 
wild. It, it, there's so much here going on and it's so fast paced and it's very easy to make mistakes. So it took me roughly 15 years now to get to where I'm at and I love my life. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made because I now am a business owner and I buy what I like and I smile every day. And yeah, don't get me wrong, there are lots of headaches. I mean, dealing with the public, I'm not gonna lie, is sometimes difficult. But if you put it in perspective, I don't have a boss ever telling me what to do. If I wanna work today, I do. If I wanna grow my business and scale it, I can. If I don't and wanna take the entire summer off, I can also do that. Now here's the other thing, I was flipping cars on the side in high school and college. And to do that, you, you kind of have to know what you're doing and you can learn by your mistakes, but you have to know what you're doing and you have to have a niche. So you find what cars you're into and you do a full inspection. You can Google like car inspections, state inspections in New Hampshire we have and they're thorough and they're rigorous. And if you can't do that, if you don't know much about cars, you can take it to a mechanic and have them go through it. That way you know what you're buying before you buy it. So if you're not looking to get your dealer's license and you just want to maybe buy and sell cars on the side, have a mechanic look at it if you don't know what you're looking for. Also, values are everywhere. NADA and Blue Book and Edmunds. You can figure out what a car is worth, trade-in, private party, and retail. So you wanna to try to pay trade-in, sell it for private party. You don't wanna ask retail because you'll never sell it. So if you buy it for trade-in and you sell it for private party, you'll make a profit. Now, how much profit can you make? I can sometimes lose money, not often, not often, but sometimes I've lost money. Now, I'm talking maybe $1,000, which is really a bummer but I've also made upwards of nine, 10, 11, $12,000 on a car. So imagine buying a car and then you fix it, you clean it, and you just reach for the moon. You just ask a price that you might think is not realistic, but then someone comes and buys it from you. You make nine, that's like winning a lottery ticket, $9,000. Imagine if you won a $9,000 scratch ticket, how excited you'd be, or maybe You've negotiated the deal down or just found a stellar deal somewhere, grabbed it, bought it at the right price and sold it for a great price and still made thousands of dollars. It is exhilarating. It's like a drug. It feels amazing to make a great profit because you did it yourself. So it's an accomplishment. You are now surviving on your own as a business owner without having to rely on an employer. And it's an incredible, incredible feeling. So now once you get your dealer's license, you go register yourself at an auction. And once you're registered at the auction, you can ask for an account manager and they'll kind of explain to you how things work at the auction. And you can follow this channel and I can explain to you how things work too. And you have a budget. Now it doesn't matter if your budget is 1,000 or 50,000. There's $1,000 cars, there's $50,000 cars. You can find what it is you wanna buy, do your research, do your homework, know what you're looking at and know your values. So make educated decisions. If you follow my channel, you know I always say make smart, educated decisions. You never gamble. Even though I gamble, I always say I gamble. I do my research, so even though I'm gambling, they're calculated risks. So very rarely do I lose because I do my research ahead of time. So I'm gonna get more into starting your dealership and flipping cars, but I wanna tell you something that I've been working on for so long, literally two years. I have poured my heart and soul. This is my life's work into this program that launches tonight. You might have heard me talking about startyourdealership.com and carflipping101.com. This is my life's work. I am taking you by the hand and showing you step by step how to get your dealer's license, how to start your own car dealership. Everything you need to know that you don't know that took me 20 years to learn is in this program. It's amazing. The best part, it's tax deductible. I'm gonna teach you how to start your own business. I'm gonna teach you about taxes. I'm gonna teach you about accounting. And then I'm gonna show you how to deduct all of this that you're learning so it actually doesn't cost you any money at the end of the year. It's amazing. Now maybe you wanna learn how to flip cars. It took me a long time to learn how to flip cars before I became a dealer and I'm gonna teach you how to flip cars legally. I'm not talking about title skipping. I'm not talking about any shortcuts. I'm not gonna teach you how to do any shady dealings. This is how to do it the right way, how I did it and was able to drive new cars all the time and then sell them for profits. All of this are in links below. I'm super excited about this. The reason I did it was to teach myself 20 years ago what I know now. That's what I wanted to do. The purpose was if I could go back in time and teach myself what I know now, that's why I created that for myself 20 years ago and for anyone else that's like-minded that wants to start their own business, that wants to start their own journey and create wealth for themselves. I said wealth, I don't want it to sound like a sales pitch. I love my life and it's all because of a decision I made 20 years ago and I wanna provide you guys with those same opportunities so make sure to click down below. So this is the 1977 MG and if you've seen my MG video, you know that I bought one of these in rough, rough shape. I paid $1,800 for it. I cleaned it in 24 hours and I sold it for $3,600 the next 
day. Great profits in 24 hours and it's real. It's realistic and it's easy. I can teach you how to wholesale. I can teach you how to retail. Wholesale means sell to other dealers, super easy. Retail means sell to the public, make great profits. I can teach you how to buy brand new cars or I'm teaching you how to fix up old cars. Now it doesn't matter if you have 50 grand and it doesn't matter if you have 1200. There's profit to be made on both vehicles and I really wanna show you how to maximize your profits on everything. But in order to do so, you need to have your dealer's license and to have your dealer's license, I wanna teach you how to start your own dealership. Whether you wanna start small and be an independently owned one man show or you wanna scale it to great lengths and have this giant car dealership, that's on you and I can teach you how to do both. And what I will say, is I am so happy I made this decision so long ago that I wanna spread the joy to you guys. I would love to see my successes become your successes. And the best part, I'm gonna give you examples of my failures too. So you can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make these. So I'm giving you a fast forward approach to learning everything I had to learn by making mistakes and doing it the long way. Again, there's no shortcuts and that's not what this is. This is not a shortcut. I'm teaching you everything I know that took me 15 years to learn. So it is a fast forward guide to getting your own dealer's license, starting your own dealership, or flipping cars as a side hobby. This is amazing, I'm so excited for it. And it's not just something I'm selling. I wanna give other people and provide other people the opportunities I've had. Just launched tonight, it took me two years. It is so elaborate, so make sure to check it out. Startyourdealership.com and Flipping Cars 101. Now here's the best part. If you buy the program, you're automatically enrolled in our Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group where we can all chat. I'm part of it as well. We can motivate each other. We can use our own examples to each other and kind of work off each other to motivate each other to see how we're doing hey I bought this what do you guys think about this car I'm working on this price do you think that's fair I want it to be interactive so we're always chatting as a group to help each other grow hey you know I'm getting my dealer's license but I have a question about this it's all interactive so it's the end of the day the auction is over I know you guys like to see my take for the day so I'm gonna show you what I bought the first one is this 05 Nissan Titan now you can see the hood and the roof is faded but it's generally in good shape. I found uh, that it was just recently inspected. It has great tires on it. Now this one, I'm gonna take to a paint shop and have them paint the hood and the roof. I paid $4,000 for this truck. I have a very similar truck at my shop listed for $11,000 already. So paint and inspection, whatever it needs for repairs, and then we're gonna list it between 10 and 11,000. I also, bought this Cadillac Escalade ESV. If you watch my channel, you know I buy a ton of these things because there's a huge market for it. It's a luxury car and they just became affordable. I paid five grand for a Cadillac Escalade. I have never sold one for less than $10,000. So if I put the money into it, the time into it, now it's not perfect. It doesn't have Escalade wheels. You can see that there's some rust spots. I will take care of all those things. And in my channel and my program, I teach you how to fix those. Now, Toyota Tundra, this is an 04 and in New England, there's a lot to worry about with anything this old, especially a Toyota, because of the rust. But I knew what to look for from years of experience. The frame has been replaced. You can see that right there, how clean that is. This, I have never sold a clean, limited, I called it a Tundra, Toyota Sequoia for under 8,500. I paid four grand for it. So I'm gonna clean this one up. We're gonna do the work to it. And that's about what I should expect to pay. Now an auction day today, let's round down. Let's say I make $2,000 on each car, which is really, really realistic. Two, four, six thousand dollars. This was a six thousand dollar day for me coming to the auction. Now I can sell all three of these in a week. Now it doesn't matter if you're selling one car or 20 cars. There is a rear end for every single seat, meaning every car you buy, there's someone out there that wants to buy it from you. So there's always somebody that's going to want to buy it. You just have to know what you're buying. You have to not gamble because you need to know what you're purchasing based on research and then you have to market it correctly and in my program i teach you how to do all of it now it's not a gimmick it's not a scam i've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this work i mean when i when i wrote it it was 57 pages long 57 pages long and it was a word document it was really long i wanted it to be right i could have had it ready a year ago, but I wanted it to be accurate, I wanted it to be informative, and I wanted it to be thorough. So I take you by the hand to show you how to buy stuff like this that doesn't look so good when I buy it. See that right there? When I'm finished, that will not be there. When I'm finished, that hood will look brand new. And when I'm finished, someone's gonna look at this car, buy it, and then I'm gonna make a great profit of it from my time, my knowledge, my efforts. Now here's the kicker. The program is tax deductible. Now in the program, I teach you how taxes work just in case you don't know. If you're spending money on something that makes you money, 
that is a deduction. So if I spend $5,000 on this car and I sell it for seven, the $5,000 is a deduction. I only made $2,000. Now, if I put work into it, say I put $1,000 into it, now I only made $1,000 because that extra thousand is a deduction, but it's not just about the car. It's about the travel, it's about your fuel, it's about your vehicle, it's about your expenses from day to day. If I travel to Florida to go buy cars, guess what? That trip, not a vacation, you can't call it a vacation, that trip is now a deduction. So I teach you in my program how taxes work, I teach you how accounting works, how you can use QuickBooks to your advantage, how to keep track of all your budgeting and your financing, and how to negotiate cars and buy them right. Startyourdealership.com. I will see you there. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the other side.